In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure the nasal index of a skull in order to determine the race of the individual. So first of all, you can see that this opening right here is where the nose would be. And when we measure the index, we're actually going to measure the width of the nasal passage as well as the length. The width we're going to measure with the use of a caliper. Um, just real quick, for our purposes in this activity, we're always going to be following the bottom, sorry about that, the bottom of the caliper that says inside. Um, when you actually slide this back and forth to make your measurement, when you think you have your measurement, follow where the zero is. So for example, on this one, let me get that into focus. I would actually say this would be 21 millimeters. So I'm reading the bottom line here, the 20, and my zero is almost to the one. Okay, and as you can see here, the units are millimeters. So we're gonna use millimeters for this. And again, don't worry about these other hash marks on the bottom of the caliper. We're just gonna use the zero for our purposes in this activity. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna measure the width of the nasal index. And so to do that, you just need to put the calipers inside the nasal passage, and you are going to have them inside and you're going to spread them until you can't spread them anymore. Um, pull them down as much as you can until you can't pull it down anymore. If you remove the calipers, we take a look at our measurement and we see that the zero is actually perfectly lined up there at 25. So then I would write down that the width is 25 millimeters. Now what we do in a nasal index is we actually divide that by the length and again we're going to measure in millimeters but the length of the nasal passage is actually going to be a little bit different. As you can see there is a line here on the skull. We're going to use that to actually represent the beginning or the top of the nose. So the nasal passage actually goes it up into the skeleton and so we're going to use the length um, as the top of that line and then right inside here at that ridge. So again, we're still gonna use the inside measurement and it helps a little bit maybe to turn the skull. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position the top caliper, as you can see, just on the outside of that line. And I'm gonna try to hold it there as best I can. And then I'm gonna pull the bottom until I meet that ridge. Okay, so as you can see there, and then I'm going to hold on to it just where it is, and again, I'm going to measure the inside. And as you can see, I'm at about 55. It's really 54 and a half, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and round that up to 55. So then the length of my nasal passage is 55. So what I would do with that information is I would take my calculator and I would take 25, my width, divided by 55, my length, and I would find that I have a nasal index of 0.45. There are no units here at the end because when we divide by the same units, they cancel each other out. So the nasal index of this particular skull then would be 0.45. What you're gonna do with that number then is you're gonna compare that number to the information on the lab to determine the race of this skull. Remember the races are African, Asian, or European.